continuing coverage tonight on a disturbing court case in El Paso County. A four year old girl was sexually assaulted and today 53 year old Hector Gonzalez sentenced to 90 days in jail for the crime. News 5's Katie Blaze in our newsroom and the family was worried that he wouldn't serve any time at one point. Yeah, that's right, Elizabeth. As we reported back in February, Gonzalez did plead guilty to sexual assault on a child by someone in a position of trust and unlawful sexual contact with the possibility that he might not face any jail time if the judge were to follow the DA's recommendation. I was very upset because um, how could that happen? How could anybody get away with that? It was in February when Valerie Montoya learned that the man who had sexually assaulted her granddaughter might not go to jail. The situation, it's torn her family apart. My granddaughter is, as I explained earlier, is um, not in school. Nah, she's self-harming. Um, there's bad things happening. Very bad things happening. But on Wednesday, Montoya says a little bit of justice was served as Hector Gonzalez was sentenced to 90 days in jail. I just don't feel he should have been able to walk out of here without some time being served for what he's done. As we learn from the prosecution, it's not the first time Gonzalez has engaged in this kind of behavior, that there have been several other girls he has touched. But until now, he's never been convicted. To know there were other families that this, this should have never even happened. As for her granddaughter, who is now five years old. I want her to be okay. I want her to get in therapy. I want her to just be a little girl. Besides jail time, Gonzalez was also sentenced to four years sexual offender intensive supervision probation and four years deferred for unlawful sexual contact. He will have to register as a sex offender in Colorado. Once he's released from jail, Gonzalez can start the transfer process to do his treatment in New York, where he now lives. Always watching out for you, El Paso County. Katie Blaze, News 5. Katie.